Hi dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to create POS in Tally. For that, we need to enable POS voucher type in Tally. So I am going to enable that option. Go to create, then select voucher type, create, then here you need to type POS. Then select a type of voucher, select type sales. Then again, here it will become method of voucher numbering. Method you need to select, you can select here. So I'm selecting automatic manual override. Then prevent create duplicate voucher, make it yes. Then set ultra additional numbering details. If you need to give an additional numbering for this voucher type, we can put this one. So I am going to give an additional voucher numbering option, make it yes. Then starting number one, date January starting one number one yearly then here we can we can fix here we can fix the prefix so i'm fixing the prefix like this uh, pos slash then it will come pos1 pos2 in this way all the number will get you can put any prefix here okay as per your convenience you can put your prefix that will save it then finally there is one option Print voucher after sale, make it yes. Then after that, use for POS invoice, make it yes. Then two message field will appear. So here you can select visit again, then thanks. That means these details will print in your POS invoice. After that, default title to print, type here tax. Invoice. That means this title will come in your invoice print. Then enter in the save it. So in this way, you need to create your POS voucher type. We can make the entry for the POS entry. Go to voucher. Then right side, you can select the sales. Then here, the first option is POS. Select the POS. That means this voucher type we created now. So select the POS. So this is a POS voucher. You can see voucher number is one. Then date is here. So here there is a location. You can select your location from which location you are going to make the invoices. So select this location one. That means we are taking goods from location one. Then select the sales here. So I'm going to select the item. Item one. Select the item here. Then the description will come. If you need to put the description, you can put otherwise just to skip it. Then automatically quantity one fill to one. Then right you can put here 20 then select next item item 2 description quantity will come automatically one if you need to change the quantity there is an option you can go to configure then there is a option here then modify rate fill during voucher entry make it yes skip the quantity fill during the voucher entry make it no that means that means auto skip we disabled at the time of making invoice otherwise it will skip that means quantity will skip and come to the right so we remove that option then select here here you can see select the item then it will come the quantity screen then put the right here then select and type your what and select mode of payment so customer is giving cash select the cash then here you can see 73.50 is the amount that means this much amount we need to collect from the customer so customer is giving 100 dirham then select here so balance 26.50 we need to return to the customer then enter and make it yes then this will come like this so if you need to check the preview click the preview this is the preview company name tax invoice all the details is the item name one second item first item tax and cash and total cash cash tendered balance and declaration thanks visit again all the details is there you can select your receipt printer for that go to printer then select the printer which one you installed select this printer then okay click the print once you click the print print will come so i am going to click the print then automatically it's come to invoice here you can see this is a pos invoice 
the top the company name then tax invoice bill number date quantity rate amount what details and our stock item details also is here you can see item name one and item name two that means two items we selected then total cash then what is the cash tendered balance all the details you will get from this POS invoice then our thanks and visit again and declaration all the details is there in the POS invoice.